With the new set Phyrexia, all will be one spoilers coming out. We are always wondering what cards will actually hit the rock list and which will not. And that's what I'm going to be explaining in this video today. There are two formats I'm really interested in, obviously green, black, and pioneer and green, black, and modern. So there are definitely a few cards, a lot more for green, black, and pioneer than there are for modern, but I will definitely be discussing all of them in depth and kind of discussing where they are going to be more playable and where they're going to be less playable. The first card on the list is Frex and Arena. This card is definitely a, you know, a decent card. It's been, you know, shown to be powerful. Although it is not, you know, the best card in the world, it's still something to be looking forward to. With this being printed into, you know, obviously Pioneer, I do think that this has some playability in, you know, maybe the Rock. Maybe it'll be better in a mono black devotion list, but I do think this has some playability. It hits something I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on um, the later it goes. It could be definitely a good sideboard card. It might just be worse than, you know, Bank Buster, but not having to invest mana and, you know, this alongside Shieldred just seems absurdly good, right? You know, you could have multiple of these down with Shieldred and like that is just on its own. You're not even losing life at that point. You're gaining life per each one. So I'm definitely interested in trying this out in Pioneer. As for, you know, Modern, this is legal and it's obviously not, not better than Dark Confidant or anything. So definitely a Pioneer card to look out for. The next card on the list for Pioneer is Black Sun's Twilight. This card is definitely a decent removal spell, right? It's a little bit underpowered. It reminds us of, you know, uh, the Black March card from whatever set that was, but definitely a powerful card. The more interesting part about this is that if X is five or more, it gets, you know, a creature back from the graveyard. And it does not say, you know, specifically the target creature you kill or anything it's just a creature with mana value x or less so this is a nice two for one and it's also a nice removal spell so definitely interested to see this in pioneer specifically in modern it could be playable in the you know mono black coffers list and stuff like that but definitely more interested in you know pioneer rock and probably going to be in Rakdos as well but this card is super powerful do not sleep on it the next card on the list is geth Thra thrain of con or thrain of contracts i'm not sure exactly how to say it but this is a legendary creature which is always nice you know a little subtext but it says other creatures control get minus one minus one and then it also has a reanimation effect i definitely think this card is at least somewhat like somewhat reasonable to think about maybe not so much in modern but more in pioneer but the ability to get back you know potentially big threats in green so for example getting back uh you know elder gargaroth or prime evil titan i do think that this is a card that i would really like to consider even in modern at some point just a good value card it has you know the the toughness of four is actually somewhat relevant you know bolts one of the more reasonable cards in the modern format so there are some things i definitely like about it it's definitely a sorcery which kind of sucks but getting back some big threats definitely could be you know in the future for rock next up on the docket is the best edict ever printed shielders edict this card is insanely powerful 100 percent gonna be played in pioneer definitely a very powerful card but also possibly in modern in rock now i will say the reason i like it a lot more in pioneer is because you know the versatility is quite strong the problem with it in modern is i'm not a hundred percent sure it's better than um sudden edict because having while versatility is nice it's still you know really you want edicts for probably merc tide and stuff like that although being able to you know have it kill a renin six is quite powerful so i'm definitely going to be testing this card out not so sure that it's going to be the best card in the world but definitely something to keep an eye on this card's really really powerful obviously having you know uh, an edict that's a little bit more specific and you get to choose you know non-token creatures it's a lot better than most other edicts so definitely keep an eye out for this one on to the multicolor card we have glissa sunslayer this card is definitely something to think about there are a few things that i really like about the glissa here so first off i think this is probably gonna be again better in pioneer it's a very reasonable card it's very hard to block it's very hard to beat in combat and you know destroying some enchantments is actually relevant you know there are the five color um and enigmatic incarnation decks uh and you know just having card draw on a creature is fantastic but things that i'm definitely interested for modern is the fact that it says remove up to three counters from target permanent so the reason i think this is something that people are sleeping on in modern rock specifically is the fact that it interacts extremely well with urza saga right because you know 
Okay, already got the chapter two. Attack with my Glissa. Remove three counters. I have, you know, two more turns of doing, you know, Urza Saga stuff. So I think this card is 100% going to be at least testable in the rock. I'm not sure if it's going to be good. The problem with it, obviously, it is a 3-3. So very, you know, very easy to kill. Bolt kills it. You know, on Holy Heat kills pretty much everything these days. But it's definitely an option. I think it's obviously going to be... I would imagine that this is not going to be a bad sideboard card because it is very, 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 very good against Hammer. Um, if This could be definitely a cheap alternative to, you know, something like engineered explosives in my opinion i know it's definitely not as good but it's definitely you know a, a thought that you can have and it's definitely a powerful card definitely worth going to be trying out not sure if you want to pick it up just yet but this is definitely a card to look out for. Now on to the green cards. We have an artifact called Conduit of Worlds. This says you may play lands from your graveyard, which already amazing, pretty decent. And then it has a tap, choose target non-land permanent card in your graveyard. If you haven't cast a spell this turn, you may cast it. If you do, you cannot cast an additional spell this turn. So this card to me, I mean, obviously it also says as a sorcery, if it was instant speed, this card would be amazing. But since this is a sorcery, I, I, I'm definitely on, you know, keeping an eye out for this card because, you know, having the ability to play out your Urza Sagas again from the graveyard, definitely a powerful effect. Um, but also just being a late game card draw engine, basically, I'm definitely interested in it. I'm not so sure if this is playable for Pioneer or Modern, but something I definitely want to keep my eye out for and just something I thought was worth mentioning. And the last card that I really want to talk about is Green Sun's Twilight. This is an X green card. It says reveal the top X plus one, which is definitely important of your library. Choose a creature and or land card from among them. Put those cards into your hand. If X is, you know, five or more then you you, you know put them onto the battlefield i think this is the best card period for the rock this card the second i saw it very much caught my eye so the reason i really like this is you know three mana i know x is only three now granted we're probably not going to be hitting two as often but it's definitely worth thinking about building the deck a tad bit differently maybe adding a little bit more creature count because I think this is going to be a good enough two for one, even on three mana, the amount of times that this is going to find you a creature and a land, I think this card is just super powerful. Now, I'm not even really necessarily 100% sure if this is going to be best in the rock. I think this card is going to be absurdly powerful because this card is just like in any Titan deck, any, you know, what's it? Um, the mono green deck and pioneer. I am very concerned about this card. I think this is like sneakily the best card in the the entire set. I think this card is super duper powerful. I would definitely think about picking this card up pretty soon. Um, not even just for the rock, but in general, I think this card is just going to be absurdly powerful. It is quite, quite good. It's always a two for one. And the fact that it can just put stuff on the battlefield if X is five or more quite good and i'm definitely hoping that this card is good enough for um green black pioneer i think it'll definitely be a little bit better there uh but i'm still kind of interested i'm definitely gonna try this card out in my uh in modern definitely keep an eye out for this card i think this is gonna be the best card in the set and i think it's gonna be not even close because this card is super duper good um, but other than that, folks, I hope you all enjoyed kind of like my thoughts on the new cards for the format. There's nothing really like too crazy for the rock this format or in this set. I'm definitely excited to try out the Glissa mainly in modern and then probably the green Zenith card. I think those are definitely the two best cards in green black. I'm definitely interested in the set for Pioneer specifically. Uh, I know there's not as many Pioneer fans, but I, I think this set's going to be really good for Pioneer Rock, and I think it might actually get me excited to play because in the past, it's just been very tough to reasonably play a green-black deck in Pioneer, and I think we're actually finally getting some reasons to play black and or green and black in Pioneer. So I know this is not the best news for modern fans, but... I don't think there's that much for modern. I think Glissa and the green Zenith are about it for actual playables for the rock. But you know, we're worth like, I will always try everything out and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know down below if you wanna see more of my thoughts on spoilers in the future. There's a lot of spoiler season coming out. I mean, there's, there's like a new set every two seconds. So if you wanna see more of this, let me know down below. I know this is kind of like a Grim Flare thing, but I always loved watching his stuff. 
So, uh, so you know, shout out to Big Papa, uh, <laughs> Grim Flare. Love that guy. But uh, yeah, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.